Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Steyr M9A1 versus the Canik TP9SF Elite. Both compact size, striker fire handguns. Both have similar weight to it, loaded. The Canik on the right has a 4.2 inch barrel. The Steyr has a four inch barrel. They actually measure up quite well. Let's start with the Steyr. This one has an OD green frame. They now make the A2MF, which is quite a bit more expensive. These are hard to find. And Steyr across the board is hard to find, but people who have them love them. And they, they say that they perform great. Now it has a 17 round mag. They also have a C model with a 17 round mag, shorter slide and barrel. But the M9, I would say is the most popular. What makes Steyr a little bit different, outside of it being very hard to find, is the way it looks. You can see that the forend is rather thick and kind of a new age look to it. And the sight picture. It's called trapezoidal sights, angled rear sights, triangle front sight. You fill that in and it shoots really well. Now the trigger pull is at five and a quarter pounds. Not a tactical reset, but a fairly short reset. And they're elusive, they're hard to find. And if you can find this, you're looking at right about 500 bucks, all right? But it's a nice handgun, and I've had this one for quite a while. I've had just about all the Steyr models, and this is the current one that I have. Let's take a few shots. I believe I have 10 rounds loaded up. Let's go. Nice. It's really interesting to fill in that triangle with the angled lines in the rear. A bit fat on the slide, but it's always performed very well. Easy to disassemble, nice all around handgun. But over here we've got the Canik TP9 SF Elite. This is a bit cheaper. You can purchase this for under $400. And a lot of people love canning. They offer a lot in the case. This one has a 15 round mag. It will accept the larger mags. 4.2 inch barrel, fiber optic front sight, serrated black rear sight. It's feature loaded with ambidextrous slide stop. Mag Z release can be moved over. Has forward serrations, a full pick rail. The Steyr had an accessory rail with one slot. Has loaded chamber indicator bar and a cocked striker indicator. The trigger pull on this is a bit lighter. Four and a half pounds with a very short reset. This makes for a pretty good comparison. We have a lesser expensive, more featured handgun versus a awesome Steyr M9A1 handgun that a lot of people love. I think a lot of people love both of these. I've owned this one for a little bit, but I've had several canics that I've owned throughout the years and still do. What's going on here? All right, so I missed the first couple. I may have raised that sight a little bit. If I slow down the video, I'll see what exactly is ha happened there. But the canic actually offers more for less money. The Steyr, Hard to find, but it is extremely cool. And I own both, so I really don't have a bias. You know, I, I don't have bias anytime I do these. Sight hole indicator right there. Love the color. If you go with the Canik, the newer ones have a tungsten gray finish. 500 bucks if you can find it. You know, 380 to 410. We'll say that with the Canik. Which one would I choose? Well, if you look at what Canik offers, and typically I shoot it really well, not so much today, <laughs> but I would go with the Canik. It's less, uh, less expensive, it offers more. I like the fiber optic front sight. I like the shorter trigger pull, or shall I say lighter trigger pull. And I think that the Urgles are very nice and they can accept the larger mags. 
The Steyr has my respect. I really like the A2MF, but those go around 700 bucks and they are pretty expensive. And that the slide is rather fat, but that's okay. I love them both. What I really want to know is which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.